So we're going to draw the molecular, the structural formula, and then that skeletal or bond line formula for cyclopentane and its molecular formula, C5H10. So when we look at this, we see cyclo. So we're going to have a ring. Pent, that's the five, those five carbons in ANE. All single bonds, carbons and hydrogens, all single bonded. So we have a lot of information. So we need to draw five carbons in a ring. And that'll look something like this here. And note, each carbon has four bonds. This carbon here, one, two, three, four. Say this carbon here, one, two, three, four. So each carbon has four bonds. It's an alkane here. They're all single bonds. So this is our structural formula for cyclopentane C5H10 because we have carbons and hydrogens. They're all showing. And it gives us an idea of how the carbons and hydrogens are arranged. If we want to draw the skeletal or bond line formula, we're just going to put lines between the carbons. One, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be the skeletal structure. It'll look like this. And note it could have the point on the top. This can be rotated. And so at these corners, we have carbon, 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 carbon. And we know each carbon is going to have four bonds. So this has one, two. So there'll be hydrogens coming off each one of them like we see right here, so it has four bonds. But for skeletal formulas, we don't write the carbons or the hydrogens because we can infer all that from this structure. Let's lay a molecular model over our structural formula for a second. So you can see we have our carbon atoms, then each one has two hydrogen atoms. And you can put that over top of here as well and see that same information. So that's it. That's the molecular formula, structural formula, and the skeletal or bond line formula for cyclopentane C5H10. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.